On this episode, a first issue ever. Are you the shock master? We go to the con that ends all cons. No, not Genghis Khan. It's San Diego Comic Con on this episode of First Issue Ever. Stick around, true believer. First Issue Ever. Oh, hello, and welcome back to another episode of First Issue Ever, the only show that cares about the only number that matters in the world of comics, and that is the number one. My name is Steve, and together you and I will skip hand in hand into the abyss that is comic books. It's been a while, huh? Normally, we post videos every Thursday, but things have changed. Oh man, they've changed drastically, and uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it's summer, and I live in Los Angeles, California, and I have no air conditioner. So it's only just briefly got cool enough for me to close my windows and turn off all my fans so I can deliver to you the quality that is an episode of First Issue Ever. The whole reason why I started this channel is so, you know, maybe I would get enough subscribers uh, that I would be able to go to San Diego Comic-Con uh, for free, you know, as a press uh, person, because I know uh, a lot of people do it that way. Um, but luckily enough, I got to go for free anyway. In fact, I got paid to go to San Diego Comic Con, and I'm going to tell you how I did it uh, right now. We'll get to the other con stuff later. An actor friend of mine that I met on set, that's right, doesn't the story already sound like nice in Hollywood? Uh, he recommended to me this uh, temp service that staffs a lot of trade shows. That's how I got to go to E3, which hopefully you watch that, and I've worked a lot of other crazy conventions and expos, and I asked them nicely if they would schedule me for San Diego Comic-Con, and they did, and uh, not only that, they needed people, and they even hired my wife as well. <laughs> it couldn't have worked better, it couldn't have. Uh, some things that I learned when I was down there is that you need to book your hotel room uh, way in advance. Um, you want to find a place to park your car that's near their little uh, trolley system that they have because, uh, yeah, their parking is, situation is ridiculous. Uh, if you figure all that stuff out, then you're good. You're golden. And uh, we had a great time, even though uh, you know we were there for three days. The first day, Thursday, we spent most of the time working. Uh, we worked in uh, one of the halls, you know, where they have the panels and stuff. Uh, and at first, I didn't think it was all that great. It was a lot of TV stuff, like Teen Wolf. Pfft, who cares about Teen Wolf? I'm a straight white man in his 30s. Why would I care about Teen Wolf? Even though I did work at one time. But the next day, Friday, they had Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad. I saw all those panels. Uh, later, after our shift was over, we came back and watched Flash, uh, the Flash panel. My goals were to get the exclusive ROM San Diego comic, get it signed, and to meet uh, Mike Barron and to get him to sign my Badger number one, and I did. Here's the ROM comic. Look at that shiny gimmicky goodness. And it's signed by Christos Gage, Chris Rael, and David Messina, and they were really nice guys. And uh, I'm really excited that they're bringing back ROM. If you see ROM number one, you should get it. Uh, especially if you see this one, because it's San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And if you're lucky enough to get it signed, like I was, then <laughs> good on you. You're a swell guy. I did get to meet Mike Barron, and I sat in on his panel, which I thought was interesting. If you don't know who Mike Barron is, created the Badger and Nexus, and he also wrote the Punisher and the Flash for a while. Um, but here it is, Badger number one, uh, my favorite superhero of all time, signed by the creator and the writer, and that is Mike Barron, and he also signed uh, Nexus. After I got those two goals accomplished, I was like, what now? Um, so, I don't know, we sort of just walked around and checked out a lot of the uh, indie stuff. You remember Zen, Intergalactic Ninja from the 90s? Uh, I met one of the co-creators, bought this trade paper back from him, and he signed it as well, somewhere on here. And there's a 3D comic of Zen, Intergalactic Ninja. Can't go wrong with 3D. Uh, and that was really cool, because I loved Zen back in the day. Um, I'm just 
I'm glad a lot of this indie stuff from the 90s didn't go away. I think a lot of them are coming back because they want movie deals, but hey, as long as they're back, that's all I care about. Um, met some other cool people that I didn't even know were there. Among them is uh, Kaz and Daniels, uh, The Addiction, formerly known as Bad Influence, a great wrestling tag team that used to be in TNA. They're now in uh, Ring of Honor. I know this isn't a wrestling show, but hey, I love uh, professional wrestling. And the fact that these guys were here and I got to meet them and take a picture with them was uh, freaking awesome. I bought their comic along with their t-shirt. Yeah. You gotta love it. You gotta love the addiction. Uh, other people I would have liked to have seen that I didn't get a chance to, um, Robert Kirkman, you know, creator of The Walking Dead. I was hoping to get my Invincible number one signed by him, uh, but I never saw him. He was probably too busy doing Walking Dead and Outcast panels. But another thing I would have liked to have gotten a chance to do at San Diego Comic-Con was to pitch my idea, my story idea, for a comic to maybe one of the indie publishers or something like that, but we really just didn't have the time. The exclamation point at the end of the con was we went and sat in on the Ash versus Evil Dead panel, which is great. Uh, Bruce Campbell was hilarious. I've met him uh, many times. I wasn't really planning on meeting or talking to him again, but there was a guy there who I've always wanted to meet and never he's never showed up at any of the cons that I went to, and that was director Sam Raimi. That's right, director of Evil Dead 1 and 2, Army of Darkness. He directed uh, Spider-Man 1 and 2 and 3, which a lot of people don't really like too much. And uh, like, again, I thought he was just gonna be up there uh, on the panel, and that was gonna be that. Uh, the panel ended, we exited to the door, uh, we were looking to leave, and I don't know how he got stuck behind, but Sam Raimi stayed behind to sign autographs and meet with people. Immediately, we turned around and I was like, here, give me, get a picture of me with Sam Raimi. Or I walked right next to him. We I was literally rubbing elbows with the great Sam Raimi. And I would say, hey, uh, real quick one here, Mr. Raimi. And he's like, yes, yes you can. But yet, he kept turning every time I, I almost you know, pointed him to, you know, the camera, someone else would jump in and then this little kid like cut me off and finally I was just like, I give up. I mean, at least I got to speak to Sam Raimi um, and that's like one of my top five directors and I also, a while back I got to meet and actually shake the hand of David Lynch. That meeting went a little bit better, but there is proof that I sort of met Sam Raimi in this picture over here. Me looking very disappointed as Sam Raimi didn't take a picture with me. Uh, but uh, again, that's okay. I hope someday I will get to meet Sam Raimi again as like creative peers or something. Like I'll get to act in one of his movies or, or something along those lines. Um, um, but we'll just <laughs> have to wait and see. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> yeah, that was basically the con. I mean, as you might imagine, there were people everywhere. It was awesome. And I mean, and again, if you do go, uh, don't buy any of the food from inside the convention center. It's a ripoff. They're charging like $3.50 for water, $4 for soda. I mean, that usually goes with any kind of con or expo. Um, so pack a lunch, be smart. Bottom line, if you can get to San Diego, do it.